Hello friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you have a great weekend this weekend. I have actually two videos for you today, not here on the main channel. Well, obviously you're watching one. So there is one here on the main channel, but the second one is over on my second channel, More Jason Lady. Uh, you should be able to find the link down in the description it's actually labeled jason lady streams still in the description box um, but i renamed the actual channel to more jason lady and i post my first video about why i'm learning blender so maybe go check that out if you're interested um it's not a super long video and uh you know you might not be interested it has nothing to do with the sims at least not right now maybe someday i'll learn blender for the sims but not right now right now i'm working on oh there goes the lighting again i dropped the webcam by the way on the floor from about five feet up or four feet up how tall am i i'm only 4 11 4 10 maybe <laughs> I dropped it from like four feet up off the ground. So yeah, it's struggling a little bit now. Uh, anyways, go over and check that out. In case you can't tell, I am not feeling the greatest today. I am super tired. I have a lot of head congestion and I am just not feeling well. I have not been feeling well all night and into the morning. So I'm doing the best I can right now, but I've got a busy afternoon, so let's wrap this intro up and get on to the video. So I decided to do it. I decided to make the save file. A few things. I will try to keep the amount of packs to a minimum on both the families and the houses, but I can't make you any guarantees. I'm just going to put whatever I like into each house and go from there um that's what i'm gonna be doing for the next little while any houses obviously aside from working on stuff for the new expansion pack that's coming out any of the other houses that i work on um or anything else having to do with like speed builds and stuff type of things um will be for the save file and i'd like to get it done this year if possible um okay before we go any further i have like a head cold thing going on and um i don't know it's just it's messing with my brain i did not sleep well last night at all and i am feeling it today and i am definitely feeling this cold and this webcam is struggling in this room like really badly i don't know what i'm gonna do i may have to turn the desk and use this blank wall right over here as my background instead because this webcam does not like this window at all behind me <laughs> like the lighting it just changes constantly because of the window behind me so I may have to turn the desk, and I don't like that idea, or I may have to end up using a green screen. I don't know, but I'm trying. I really am. It looks terrible, I know, but I, yeah, I don't know what else to do about it. So, anyways, I decided to use Grace as our first family, if you will uh for the save file so a couple of things about the save file everything will be on the gallery to download so you don't have to wait for the whole finished file you don't have to try to figure out how to get the file into your game whatever blah 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 um every lot every family will be on my gallery uh catalog page or whatever it's called uh to download to put in your game um as i'm going along or to use in whatever game you want to use you know what i'm trying to say right um but 
the only thing that the save file itself will have at the end, which I'll put on Tumblr, by the way. I don't have my Tumblr linked anywhere yet. Someday I'll get it somewhere on here. But uh, once I... Once I get the whole save file finished, um, the only thing that will be in the save file that you won't be able to download from the gallery is, like, if I change the townies or the NPCs at all, or, like, the calendar and the holidays for seasons, those will all be in the actual save file. There's no way to put those on the gallery, so if you want the whole save file in its finished state um you'll have to download that but in the meantime you can have the houses too does that make sense i feel like i shouldn't be recording when i have a head cold because i don't i tend to ramble a lot anyways and i'm not concise <laughs> at all and uh and i just half the time I forget what I'm talking about and with a head cold it just makes it a thousand times worse um I decided to leave a lot of my process in here usually I cut out a lot of things like if I try 15 different sidings till I decide on the one I want um or whatever I cut that stuff out this time I tried to leave it in a little bit more and I've been doing that a little bit more lately because I think it's fun and interesting to show the process. I don't just get into a lot and I'm like, oh, this is a, a blue house with this roof and these windows. It takes me some time sometimes to decide, okay, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I want to use. This is the direction that I want to go in. And inspiration can strike from anywhere at any time. Like you've seen in many of my recent builds, I can start out in like going with one direction, um, with one inspiration in mind. And then halfway through, I'm like, no, I'm just not feeling this. And then completely change the whole aesthetic of the build. Uh, so, yeah. I thought I would include some of that process in the videos. And you know what? I did pretty good on this one because the the um, length of this video is not overly long considering I didn't cut a lot of that stuff out this time. So hey, I'm getting better and I'm getting faster at it at least. Um, let's see, did I, did I list off the packs yet? So Grace is what is she? She's obviously she get famous because of her scar. Um, but what else? Oh, she's seasons because of her hot and cold weather wear. They are seasons outfits. So if you don't have seasons, she might be naked if she tries to wear the hot or cold weather clothing. Um, and if you don't have get famous, Grace will be without her you know, iconic face scar. Um, the house, I'm trying to remember. I, I, in like in two seconds here, I will choose the packs that I want to use for this house. Right here is where I do it. Okay, cats and dogs, seasons, and then in another minute or so, I add uh, snowy escape. Because I like the windows from Snowy Escape. They're big open windows. But they're not full floor to ceiling windows. So I really like those windows. Um, I think that's it. I think those are the only three packs that I use. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the only three packs that I use. Um, there's not much to say. I redo Streamlit Single a lot. In my mind... Streamlit single belongs to Grace. <laughs> like, she just belongs there. It's her place. And she always remodels it when she moves in. Um, she doesn't always add a second bedroom on, though. That's been a recent development that I've been doing. Uh, she is very family-oriented. She, I think she wants either a successful lineage. lineage wow. 
I can't speak, um, or a big happy family. I can't remember which it is now, but she's very family oriented. So I thought, you know, let's prepare for her future and give her a second bedroom. Um, as far as career and stuff goes, she doesn't really, she's not ambitious. She doesn't really have any, like, specific wants or anything with that. So she's not gonna be an overly wealthy sim, at least in my mind, the way I play her. So she's probably gonna be in this little house for a while. Which is why, another reason to add the second bedroom on. Um... But yeah, I just, I kind of took her, like, personality into account when editing this house this time. Like, really fully incorporated her personality into it. Uh, she tends to be kind of gloomy, because she's got depression. She is me, after all, sort of. Like, looks-wise, she's not me, but, like, personality-wise, she's me. So she does have depression. She tends to be gloomy. Uh, she's clumsy because of my physical disability. And then she's very family oriented. So if you have, like, it doesn't work this way in The Sims, but in real life, if you have depression, especially more mild depression, like what I have, um, sometimes just being in a sunny, bright place with lots of connection to nature and stuff is really helpful. And so I always put big, open, sunny windows in Grace's house. Always. Every single time. Because it just, it doesn't counteract the gloomy trait in The Sims. But, you know, it just, I don't know. It's just one of those things that is so ingrained in me. If you're feeling down, get some sunshine. And so I just kind of incorporate that into grace as well. So yeah, that's just my thought process behind that in case you ever cared to know. Uh, I did not decorate the second bedroom. Well, mostly I did not decorate the second bedroom. I put some curtains and a rug in there, and that was it. Just to, like, this is supposed to be a nursery. Grace is single right now, but she would love to have a kid in there someday. You know what I mean? Um, but I did decorate everything else. And it's on a single Sims budget again. So it is a budget starter house. It, it came in just barely under, but it came in under. I promise you, it did. Uh, so yeah, I know that putting the kitchen there was kind of a weird choice. I get that. It does come together in the end when you see the screenshots at the end. But trust me, it, it really does look good. It does come together. But I agree, it's a weird place to put the kitchen. It's not an overly large lot. And I didn't want to just copy the uh, pink and white version of Streamlit Single that I did recently. I wanted to do a different version of it. Something even more calm and even more pastel-y than that one was. Uh, which was hard to pull off. But that's why I stuck with pretty much all blues and browns for the most part to keep it very calm and neutral um yeah that's all I I don't have anything else to say about that I just didn't want to copy the pink and white one that I did recently I just wanted to do something different and honestly I always, when I edit this lot, do the same things over and over again. So I just wanted to try something different. Although, I do vaguely remember um, making a streamlit single once where the kitchen was in that spot then as well. Or somewhere out there in that part of the house. 
I don't know. I don't remember now, but I'm fairly certain I did. I think. Possibly. Maybe. Now I don't know. Also, are those cabinets two different colors? Like, it looks like the upper cabinets are more gray, and the lower countertop cabinets are more creamy white. I wonder if it's just the lighting or what. But that looks weird, doesn't it? I didn't notice it in game, but I definitely see it in the video for sure. It is a little weird, but that's okay. I mean, she can upgrade her stuff as she goes along. We weren't looking to put the most expensive stuff in here. We were just looking to give her a little cozy starter house um, to start in. Yeah, that would be obvious by the name starter house, right? Okay, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> My brain is just not in it right now. And I have a very busy afternoon. Oh! Oh! That reminds me. Okay. I have a second video. Did I say this in the intro? I don't think I did. Hmm. I might have to re-record my intro. But in case I didn't say it. Well, if I re-record the intro, do I really need to say it again? <laughs> I might not re-record the intro. I don't have a lot of time. Um, yeah, okay, so I have a second video going up today. I might as well just put it here. Most people don't listen this far into the video. <laughs> I do have a second video on my channel today, though. Um, it's a video about why, sort of showing you that's what i'm trying to say showing you why i've been learning blender lately and it has nothing to do with the sims right now i think it's gonna be a little bit surprising what it is and what it has to do with maybe possibly i mean if you know me like if you know me and you've been around my channel for a while you might be able to guess before you get there but most people are not going to suspect that this is why I've been learning to use Blender and stuff lately. Uh, but yeah, I have two videos coming out today, which is crazy. And the only reason I was able to pull that off was because we took a week off from homeschooling. So this is not going to be a regular thing for me. <laughs> um... It is on my second channel, which is right now in the description. It's labeled Jason Lady Streams, but I actually renamed the channel to More Jason Lady because I want to put other stuff there than just my um, stream archive, if you will. So, <clears throat> excuse me. It's on my second channel, which you can get to in the description or on my about page or lots of different places and yeah i mean it's over there it should be over there right around the same time that this one publishes so you can go watch that when you're done with this if you're interested i will let you go check it out over there i'm not gonna say anything about it i'm a little scared to put it up I'm a little shy about it. Like, I know I'm a mess and everything anyways, and people still watch my Sims videos, but for some reason, this other video is just really different from what I typically do, and so I feel like, it, you know, people aren't going to like listening to my rambling while I talk about this whole new project I have going on. Um... I don't know. I think it takes people a while to get used to my incoherent ramblings as it is. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling self-conscious. I, I think I started developing this cold actually last week. And I've been mixing medications that apparently I should not have been mixing together. And so my head has been kind of all over the place the last week and a half so maybe i'm just feeling self-conscious about that 
<laughs> and I need to stop like worrying about it and just get on with life already. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you just, when you're putting yourself out there, you just get self-conscious about strange things like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I this is one of the worst voiceover like things that I've done in a while, but I'm not going to re-record it. I really, truly don't have the time, and I don't think I could do any better even if I re-recorded it 30 more times. You know, I've said this before, I'm okay if you want to turn the sound off and not listen and just watch the speed build. I'm totally okay with that. It doesn't bother me at all. I understand. I will get better at the commentary part of these as I go along, um, especially once I get rid of this head cold and I figure out my medication situation, I will get better <laughs> at the commentary parts. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's a little bit endearing that I am a rambler and am incoherent most of the time and have no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe? No? <laughs> well, I tried. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just really not with it today. I just really, really wanted to get this build up because... This is one of my most favorite streamlit singles besides the pink and white one that I did recently. Like that one is my most favorite streamlit single of all. Like my absolute most favorite. If I could have, I would have included it, but I thought that would be a little weird and I wanted to do a new build anyways. Uh so I decided to do this. And I'm glad now that I did because it is my second most favorite version of Streamlit Single that I've ever done. I think it's simple and it's understated and it's cute and it's just really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Chill and cozy. It's just very relaxed and casual, very me. I absolutely love it. I really love the way it came together in the end. Um, so yeah. So if you put up with me and my ramblings this whole video and you enjoy this version of Streamlit Single and you're looking forward to getting a lot of different lots and lot types for a potential new save file, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I am right now sitting at 170 subscribers. That kind of goes back and forth a little bit every few days or so. But right at this moment, I'm sitting at 170 subscribers. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You have no idea. The comments and everything have been like, you can't even believe how much I appreciate it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for putting up with me and enjoying my builds. And uh, did I say don't forget to subscribe? Yeah, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.